Hey, what's up, friends? Going to show you a quick shot of the new 1962 Epiphone Sheraton. And it's quite an amazing creature. One of eight made in cherry in this fabulous version, which is the short headstock with the bubbly script and the uh, tremolo. It's just an amazing work of art rivaling the Gibson 355 with its, its appointments and it's easy to say that it's the cleanest one I've ever seen. I don't know if it's not the cleanest one out there. You would only know that it is actually a bit older by some of the patina on the pickups. The harness is all intact. Sealed paths, mini humbuckers, they sound fantastic. And you also have the white telltale fairy dust under the pots that's accumulated over time, etc. And behind the pickups, so it's a real clean machine. It's a 10 16th nut, or 11, I should say 44 millimeters, 11 16th. So it's a nice chunky profile neck. Not quite as thick as a 59 Gibson, but just about in between that and the skinnier 60s version so it's really a sweet little piece and while I'm not auditioning for jazz bands this evening as I always say we'll give her a bit of a sound test clean and dirty on the bridge Pickups. My favorite sound is this uh, neck pickup, though. However, you can't ignore the fact that she's got some supercharged paths in her. So I'd be remiss if I didn't play a couple of little bit heavier chords on her. Sorry. Both pickups. This is my favorite sound. Maybe not what she was intended for, but nonetheless. I just share that with you tonight the 1962 Sheraton so pleased to have her and I will do a side-by-side -side with this and a 1964 ES345 also red cherry with the uh, late patent number early patent number pickups stay tuned for that video 
any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.